it was my 66th birthday um, a few days ago. And thank you for all the messages, which I couldn't see because Facebook was deciding I didn't need to see them, I guess. I saw a few, but I really appreciate it. Um, but it got me thinking about, I've never liked birthdays. I've never liked, I think it's a, I think it's a problem in society to constantly be reminded about how old or how young you are. Be told to act your age, don't act out, you know, you're acting like a child, you know, you know. To me, it's all, I was just listening to Jethro Tull, naked, too much information, right? I was, I was, I was showering and I was, I had this Bose speaker on and I was conducting because I, I used to love that album. Took me back, and I'm talking about time travel and the Wayback Machine, if you if you remember the old uh, Mr. Peabody uh, cartoon that was with Rocky and Bullwinkle. Took me back to when I was, literally I was 18 in music school, I was in the dorms and Passion Play came out, it was 1972 I think, and it was my favorite album, still is one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, think as the Brick came out, Jethro Tull, and that one, um, the critics said it was a concept album. Well, it wasn't really. It was a joke, more or less, on concept albums. He was he was poking at, at progressive rock. But then he decided, well, why not? I'll show you a concept album. So then he made Passion Play, and it is my favorite of all time. It's, it's about, I don't know, 40 minutes of music or something all put together. When I was in music school, I actually took um, this little thing I think it was called the hair or something. The hair has lost his spectacles. And I took the baseline for it. And I took the baseline and flipped it upside down and backwards. So it changed all the rhythms and changed the notes. And then I played the flute over it. I was playing the flute standing on one leg. I could do that back then. I still have, uh, it's not the same flute I had. In fact, this is a much nicer one. But I was playing the flute. And I had to play the flute because my instrument, the electric bass, was not recognized by the Department of Music at Oklahoma University. So I had to pick another instrument. And since I passion play had just come out, and I loved the flute anyway, and loved Ian Anderson, I picked the flute. Isn't it funny how we choose things in life just by circumstances? Now, it's interesting, talking about time travel and the Wayback Machine, here's another Wayback Machine right here. I don't think I've worn this since the time that the picture was taken of it. I was wearing this with Melissa Joy, the first time we ever went to Germany, and there's a picture of me in black and white wearing this jacket. I pulled it out of the closet and found it the other day and went, wow, it's still there. So I'm wearing my shirt that says fictional character. And the fictional character is still here, but has gone through many revisions, many revisions to the novel ideas that are in the story. If you think of your life as a narrative, and it has its ups and its downs, it has state of mind, it has its villains, protagonists, antagonists, right? agonists, right? Catalysts. If you can look at it that way and let go of the idea that time exists at all, then you can become timeless and become a storyteller, maybe engage in a little coyote shamanism. I'll see you next week.